Hey friends, how's everyone doing today? My name's Shannon, welcome in. We're here with a timeless intuitive tarot reading. I will say over the past couple days, there's been a really big theme of leveling up and not taking less than what we deserve and stepping into that energy. And speaking of, we are starting out with the Ace of Wands. So it looks like Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. It looks like we're grabbing hold of something here that's going to start our wheel spinning again. Maybe we've been stagnating for a little while. Let's get some more information about this Ace of Wands. What do we need to know about this? The Five of Cups. Strangely enough, I started this reading with a different deck and I heard, no, I want you to use this deck. So I changed decks, but this came out of the other deck as well, the Five of Cups. So wanting to move forward, but feeling a sense of missing something, feeling a sense that we don't have everything that we need emotionally right now. The Five of Cups, what we have to remember is it's often looked at as like a very sad card, but with the Five of Cups, we always have those two cups still standing. And I think that's the importance behind the message is to remember that even if you are feeling empty, you still have a little bit of gas in the tank emotionally and that's what we need to focus on so focus less on the three cups that have spilled focus more on the two cups that still hold you know intuition and love and all of these things that we want some of you might be feeling like you're having a hard time verbalizing what you're going through what else do we need to know spirit But I see you moving on from whatever this is. Yes, to the Queen of Cups. We're stepping into our nurturing, motherly, loving, warm energy here. Show me this. We've got the Tower here, Temperance. Show me this Ace of Wands. What is the impetus for us moving in this direction? The devil looks like we're moving away from some type of an attachment. Let's clarify him. Let's see what this devil is. Show me the devil. Justice. Okay, so for some of you, this devil is you hung up on seeing someone else get theirs. So for instance, your ex did you dirty and now you're hell-bent on seeing them go through the same pain that you went through i'm seeing you walk away from this energy okay or i should say feeling i don't know whatever you're walking away from this energy and because you're walking away from this energy you're going to feel like you've lost to a certain extent okay but the message here from spirit is that you didn't lose you're stepping into a much more positive energy here. Let's see why this, why, why did this happen? We've got the Ten of Cups on the bottom here. Why, Spirit? What's going on here? What's the story behind this? We have the Page of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So right off the bat, I'm getting the feeling that some of you were dealing with another party who was kind of immature and kind of out for themselves. Um, they may have seen you. The way that I'm reading this is that this is an older woman with a younger male. You guys could be the same age and this could just be a maturity situation. But this person really just wanted to use you. Let's just put it out there. They wanted to use you. And I'm seeing you walk away from that because you're understanding your worth. And that, that's that been this whole week's just theme so far is understanding our worth. 
Yeah, the Nine of Wands, Judgment, and the Wheel. So you're protecting yourself from this person. Because for whatever reason, I feel like for some of you, it's kind of like fun times and reminding you of when you maybe had less responsibilities and things like this. But at the end of the day, this person only wanted you for either sex, finances, maybe all of the above. I'm seeing you walk away from this, guys. What's our next step? The death card. We are transitioning away from this dude. This person who just wants to come in, I feel like... Like, this person is not going to give up very easily. You're going to really have to spell it out for this kid. And I shouldn't say kid. This guy. This girl. Whoever they are. You're going to have to spell it out for them. But this person is not mentally or emotionally at the same level as you. Okay? Show me death. What's coming after this transition? The Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and now the Ten of Cups. So you walking away from this situation is kind of setting in motion this domino effect of love, okay? We're heading towards what we want and we're heading away from what we know, that we know that we don't want, that we know that isn't for us, okay? We're not allowing ourselves to be taken advantage of anymore for the sake of not being alone. I feel like that's where this attachment is beginning. This attachment is beginning from a place of you not wanting to be on your own. And it's kind of like this person got thrown into the mix kind of as, as a lesson, as a, as a test for you to see, are you going to stay within the confines of this and allow all of this, this cup energy that you have to be stifled by this person? Or are you going to make a decision to move away and transition out of this? And once you do, on the other side, you're going to find what you truly deserve here, guys. You guys are doing this in a way in which is going to protect yourself. So I see you going inward with this and I show you, I, I see you going inward and I see you putting out a very strong forward facing um, guard, okay? So like, people who are meeting you in life aren't going to understand that all of this is kind of simmering beneath the surface. You're putting on a brave face. Thank you. That's, that's what I'm trying to get across here. For some of you, I'm going to put this out there. For some of you, we have an ex-partner coming back. This could be somebody that maybe you guys were married at one point. Maybe you guys are still married, but I see a reconnection happening after we transition out of whatever this mess is with this younger person. And I really get the feeling that this is a younger person, not like super young, but younger to you, okay? And I see you leaving all of that behind and going inward and doing the work. So this whole situation was one gigantic lesson to teach you that you are worthy of real, reciprocal, adult, grown up love. You don't need to cater to the whims of people who aren't where you are. So the message here is to stop bringing ourselves down. It's time to level up. 
and I see somebody from your past coming in after we get through this. Let's see what's on the bottom here. Yes, my friends. In the world. It's like all of this is a jumping off point for your own expansion. Because you need to understand what you're worthy of before spirit's going to drop it into your lap. Because we can't, if we receive what we know or what we believe we're worthy of before we are emotionally ready to handle it, there's a solid chance that we're going to screw that up. So I feel like this person has come in not to mess with your head. They're just being who they are. It's on you to uncover the fact that you're worth more than what they have to offer. And once you do that, I see you going through a transitionary period where you're going to have your wall up a little bit, but you're going to be doing the work internally. And once we do that work on ourselves, I see somebody that you know, someone from your past, coming in and offering you what it is that you actually want right now. That's great, beautiful guys. All right, that's where I'm gonna leave it at. Oh, I hope this resonates for you. If it does, drop me a like. It helps the channel out and it lets me know that I'm hitting the nail on the head for certain people. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you again soon.